And he looked a little passive there, looking to try and make, force the pass, but he's probably open for a layup early on, but that's two little turnovers for the Kings, and you can't let this United team get out and run. Sloppy start by Sydney, and Sean Long says, we'll score first. Crowd into it. The Kings, they're out by 10. Nibalo, fresh from fouling out on Friday night, picks up two quick fouls on Sunday as Golding spins but still hits the mark. Done it so well with five double-doubles in a row between rounds three and five. His season-high 31 with 12 boards against South East Melbourne. So right, he had a lot of time out before this season and had a few niggles along the way, but from all reports of how training's been going, he's been looking real good, and that's a, that's a really good finish by Bogut there. Uh, this is where Bogut is at his best. When he operates from those elbows, either with the path... Bogut with his second, the only other Sydney player to pick up a foul. Lazada with one. And look at that finish! Jay Shaw, Tate elevates big time! A Trimble for Melbourne. Luala Jewel up high. Foul on the way to the rim. They're on a four-game winning streak after their only loss of the season against Melbourne in round five, and they won't lose if Bogut keeps scoring like that. It's a whole lot easier to do when you're 10-1 and one than when you're 5-5 five and five or 5-6. Five and six. Jay Sean Taylor. Kings unbeaten at Kudos Bank Arena this season, 5-0. and oh. The dying seconds of the opening half, Casper Wood banks three. Good. Brad Newley likes it, the crowd loves it. Pete Hurley, what an exclamation. Played a few weeks ago, and he's on track for that as well with 17 in the first half. And it's not just the points, it's the clip. He's 66%. <laughs> Takes, guarded by Barlow, and he forces the foul on Barlow. That's number four for David. Rebounding overall and second for assists at United. Quiet in this one to start as Bogut finds it tough. One dribble step back or between the legs, so just shoot the first one confidently. It's a much better shot. Newley puts it on the floor, works his way past Golding. That is classic Brad Newley. Good turnout, and that crowd really riding Chris Golding. Uh -oh. Now Bogut shows us that he can climb high. 12 points for the game, an NBL high for Deshaun, who'd struck his shooting problems in recent weeks. Brad Newley, the finger roll finish, 12 from the field. Here he is, 12 points, dropping both field goals. Most points coming at the free throw line, and Trimble fighting hard to keep Melbourne in it. If it wasn't already a daunting prospect, it's only going to get harder as the season rolls on. Golding with a step back three. Now 35 is a lot, but to make 32 of them is outstanding at 91.4%. Sean Long dunks two and will find Brad Rosen. When they score and then go back and be able to either zone or man, but the number one thing is get stops and run. But the question is, can they get stops? You still got to have your man-to-man -man responsibilities. Good work by Bogut to make sure Sydney keep possession. Multiple fakes from Jay Sean takes, and he gets it done. It's very hard, but you've got to forget about the score and just try and work your way through this. Melbourne United, that is. Trimble splashes three more. Mello Trimble, the nice pass for Luala Chill. He goes on to Smith Milner, and Melbourne have needed much more of that. The DPs in Adelaide didn't look out of place last week, and the same can be said here as well. Deshaun Taylor, last shot of the game, and it's another big win for the Sydney Kings. They roll on, unbeaten at home, 6-0.